Hey, how's it going, everybody? Jeff with Covet the Camper. Had a uh, couple of requests on uh, my comments for the uh, bunk bed uh, installation uh, to show a little bit more detail on how I mounted the bracing that goes um, from the from the window uh, supports to the top frame, and also how uh, the two the two pieces uh, the two platforms are supported. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get underneath the bunk bed and just show real simple uh, and quick how to uh, get these uh, things mounted and how I did it. There's a couple other ways that you could probably do it, but this is the way I found uh, easiest. Um, the two pieces aren't, uh, aren't clamped or bolted together, so it's really easy to install and uh, take down when you're out uh, you know, camping or whatever so you can still use the dinette you know, as, a, as a seating area. All right, so there's the uh, upper bunk, and uh, I'll just lift up the mattress here so you can see the two uh, pieces there. So the seam, that's just the two pieces of plywood um, seam. And uh, the, so the first piece that slides in there is uh, supported by the window uh, brackets or the window bracing, and I'll show you that. All right, so going under here, this I'm in the lower bunk now. And these are the side windows and the slide out. And uh, the window frames have mounting screws all the way around. And I just took out the existing mounting screws and used longer uh, mounting screws, obviously marking where the hole locations were just by putting the piece of wood in there and um, tapping it uh, with a a hammer. You can also uh, get a pencil, like a lumber crayon or something, and just color the uh, existing window screws on the heads and then push this piece up against it to mark each one of the hole locations. Uh, so you can drill those out. And then I just use longer uh, stainless steel screws to mount this. Uh, it's just a three quarter inch piece of cherry. Um, and that I cut, you know, the, the window cut out so we can still have a little bit of light um, in the lower bunk uh, for my youngest daughter. And um, I have these little, these Velcro tabs here are uh, for these little curtains that have the Velcro on them. So we can still, you know, put these up if we want to and, and uh, have, just tuck them in there and have privacy. Going back up to the upper, upper bunk, you can see those uh screws around the window frame and they're only well an inch and an eighth long i think so i replaced them with uh screws that were uh, about an inch and three quarters in length all right so going back into the lower bunk area looking up at the bottom of the platforms you can see how i braced uh between the two platforms so that's just three quarter inch cherry solid cherry um, by uh, one and five eighths uh, inches uh, deep uh, and countersunk uh, some screws on, on both platforms there. So that's good and strong. If you wanted to, um, you could, you know, screw um, these two pieces together um, or just drill some holes and use some T-nuts, some threaded uh, T-nuts. So you could, um, you know, fasten those two pieces together we don't uh, we don't do that just because it's a lot faster uh, to set the bunk bed up and take it down. And the outer bunk secures the inner bunk with this bolt and T nut that goes through the the bolster bracing. And that just you know that goes all the way through there and um, and secures that inner that inner platform. In place we've never had any problems with it uh, moving or sliding it's it's really stable and this is the, just the other side um, where you can see the uh, how we tuck the curtain up in there covering the window just for a little bit of privacy um, and then we leave this back uh, side window um, uncovered we do have some reflectics that we throw in there if it's if it's really cold but um, you can still access the uh, the window cranks and stuff um, with this in there like that so it's uh, actually kind of nice to be able to to access both both window cranks 
right there. Uh, so you can, you know, open up the windows for ventilation if you need it. All right, and this is just showing the uh, three quarter inch by one and five eighths bracing that goes all the way around on both sides here. And this is where the two pieces come together in the middle. And then this outer, the outer bunk has bracing all the way around as well. This piece, um, all these pieces on the on the outside are um, rabbit jointed in, which you can see on the uh, on the end here. So it's it's super strong. You don't have to worry about that thing moving at all. And, and somebody wanted to see the uh, little bunk bed uh, guardrail that I built again, just out of three quarter inch cherry, and um, with a couple of uh, brackets on the sides that uh, allows me to just kind of slide it into place over the uh, this you know upper frame piece. So again, that's just three quarter inch cherry. This piece is, um, I think I went 22 inches long. And, um, and then the three quarter inch by one and five inch, one and five eighths inch pieces um, that are just glued and screwed um, to the side. And then, uh, so you can just take this and obviously it just, that width allows you to just slide it right in. So you've got, you know, a nice little, nice little guardrail so the kid doesn't fall out onto the floor. Got the slide out in right now because it was dumping rain, but that's what it looks like from back by the entry door. With the slide out in, there's still room to get through and you can get into all the Get into all the cabinets and you can still get into the bed. You don't have to have the uh, the slide out extended to uh, use the truck camper, which is one of the reasons why I like this, this camper uh, floor plan. Okay, so hopefully that answers some of the questions about the uh, bunk bed bracing and the way it's mounted uh, to the window and stuff like that. So um, yeah, if you uh, have any other comments or questions, leave them in the, uh, in the comments section below and I'll uh, try to get them answered for you. And uh, until then, I'll see you on the next one. Later.